I was talking to a friend of mine who comes from a narcissistic family about her process of acquiring financial independence. Now, this is very hard for many children of narcissists because uh, we are gaslighted into believing that we are incapable of becoming normal functional adults. So there's a lot of pressure that goes into keeping her small and keeping her in that role of being the family scapegoat, which is also the family fuck up. Everybody needs someone to blame, right? And being the family fuck up, she helps everybody feel better about themselves. So in this process, she obviously has some days where it feels like nothing is happening and you know nothing is really changing in that it's impossible. And it's important for us to remind ourselves that this is just a process and that if we go back, we're going to be giving up on our individuation and that our individuation does mean specifically that we will lose our family's approval and validation. Part of this process of surviving um, this, this period where she's still dependent on them, it involves, you know, the, the gray rock method. The gray rock method is a method used when we have to deal with narcissists, and it involves essentially becoming invisible, not having reactions, emotional reactions, not expressing anything, not really existing, not really commenting on anything, becoming as lifeless and uninteresting as a gray rock. Now, this does work with some narcissists, not all, because it makes you someone who doesn't have all the emotional reactions that, you know, it serves as narcissistic supply for them. But the gray rock method, I actually made this video to talk about two aspects of it. One of it, which is really good, and the other aspect, which is like, I think it's an aspect that is never mentioned, and it's really, 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 really important. And it's something that I've been dealing with, even though I've been in contact with my mom for years, I'm still dealing with the effects of having used the gray rock method as a survival technique. So the good thing about the method is that when you are made out to be this um, dysregulated, crazy fuck up, you often think everything is your fault in your family. But when you go gray rock, you stop having the reactions that they always used against you, which were oftentimes reactive abuse. You know, when you get baited over and over and over and over into, uh, into being triggered and reacting, you're going to look crazy. And this is what they do to the scapegoat, scapegoats. They, will, they do this to everyone they will trigger you over and over and over until you have reactive abuse. And then they're like, see, you are the fuck up. And then you believe them. But when you go gray rock and they keep on acting like assholes, they keep on acting in a way that doesn't make sense, even if like the abuse has been lessened because you're gray rock, it becomes clearer to you who is dysregulated and who is toxic. Because if you're doing your part, if you're being super respectful, if you are not reacting to anything, for the first time in your life, you can actually gauge the situation accurately and be like, wait a second, I think they were gaslighting me into believing that I'm just like this crazy person because even when I behave, they still act in this weird narcissistic way. So that's the positive side of the gray rock method. It, it helps you grasp reality better because you can see that even when you behave, the dynamics doesn't change. Now, the really bad part about the gray rock method is that it becomes kind of like Harry Potter's invisibility cloak and you, you start using it really as a, a, as a survival mechanism and it becomes your way of existing in the world. And for you to only believe that you can exist through invisibility is something that is really hard for you to deprogram later on, my friend. I gotta tell you, I get shocked at all of the many different ways that I do not draw attention to myself and I don't allow myself the gloriousness of my own being, of, of my self-expression, of my talents, because it seems like I'm going to be a target for persecution if I express myself. And these are the long-term effects of going gray rock. You start confusing your only abilities to survive with being invisible all the time. And even if you are far away from the narcissist, and it could be your husband, it could be your child, it could be your mother, your father, um, and you still use this invisibility cloak. It's, it's almost as if the narcissists still have their grasp on you in, in, a, in a way because you're still scared of existing. So this is what I wanted to draw attention to. These two, oh, we got ourselves a little kitty cat. <laughs> so these two, you are not allowed to be here and you know why. 
So these two aspects of the gray rock method, the first one, which is the good aspect, is like, oh, wait, I'm not the crazy person. I'm behaving, but the dynamics haven't changed. So this get, gives you a, a greater grasp on reality. But the bad aspect is you learn how to be invisible in order to exist in the world. And this is some hard shit for you to for you to get over later on. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to emphasize that um, one of the... One of the very specific things you have to do to get over narcissistic abuse is to express yourself. So whatever it is, it could be the glasses you wear, it could be your clothes, it could be the way you speak, it could be posting something, it could be starting a project, it could be saying something. In which ways has the gray rock method made you be scared to express yourself and to exist outside um, of your invisibility? That's the question for today. So did you identify your, with anything that I said did you have the good, um, the good effect of the gray rock method where you could see reality more clearly? But do you also appreciate how the gray rock method actually deactivates your ability to exist even later on? Do you see that in your personality still? So tell me what your, what your impression is, what your experiences are. I'd love to read them. Let me know in the comments.